You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Right, welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Very pleasured to be joined by the one and only Loz. Thanks for having me. I didn't realise we were going We were. Listen, we might as well. We'll do that. That's too disappointing. Decent connection yeah. as well. Unlike Liverpool in this game, smash the like button, comment with your post-match reactions and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Loz, I've been getting it in the net. You've just seen Flex walk in. Yeah. I was predicting five, sixes, sevens, potentially eights. Mm -hmm. What happened uh, or what didn't happen for Liverpool today? I think it's... You know what? Before the game, I was like, Liverpool are too confident. I actually remember the flip of this last season where everyone going into That's this correct. game was, uh, I think it was, was it Graham Souness? Yep. Who was on Sky saying like, no, this is the game where you don't want Liverpool. And everyone else was laughing at him. And I thought, well, maybe United will be similar where they basically go really just sit back, which they definitely did, and then try and break on Liverpool. And I think that happened like once in the whole game. The fact United fans are celebrating, and I mean like, you know, jubilant about a nil-nil yeah. is crazy to me. But this was one of the flattest games I've seen in years between United and yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. And I think, you know, to, to just say that this, this, this game is the important one of the season. It's the most important one to United. To Liverpool, this was just another game. And that's the difference between the two teams this year. The only top four United are getting in this season is the top four of their Champions League group. And that doesn't help you very much. <laughs> Damning. I love it. And everything you've just said is correct. I mean, you saw how jubilant, as you say, they were to get a nil-nil. I don't really want to focus on how... You know, you have to credit them for setting up defensively. But I don't I, think I you should. Look, no, but I want to look at us and say, why didn't we score? I, I, I'm not really concentrating on their plus points. I'm looking at our weak points in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. if it, I feel like you, you're right. I mean, if you know it's score, it's a weakness. But yeah. I do think there's a lot of games where you, you look at Liverpool and go, well, they didn't create, create many chances. But I don't know how clear-cut chance of a team Liverpool are. They're more of a, like, if the build-up goes right, then it sort of goes the right way. But... I've got to call out, I do think Liverpool sometimes go for too much of a perfect goal or too much of the right move. And that happened last season against United. Every move was the right move and it just goes in. This season, not so much. And I think I, my main concern is at the moment, we kind of need one extra body in midfield that we don't quite have. And I think if we could have started him, we probably put, would have put McAllister in this game. Yeah, I think it would have made sure. a big difference because distribution wise, the interplay, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I like Endo. I don't think he was bought in to start these games. So it's not a damning conclusion of him, but it is, I'm not sure he would have been in Klopp's mind as a starter when he came in against United at home. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I think if everyone's fit, Endo doesn't start this game, but he did and, you know, toothless up front, really. You look at how uh, there were 7,000 more fans in the stadium. You look at United's recent record. They just lost 3-0 at home to Bournemouth. I am going to have to hold it a little bit. I have to face the music now because sure. I predicted a massive win. But why couldn't we score? I'm looking at Nunes. I'm looking at Salah. Saboslai, poor game today. Um, Gakpo came on. Elliot came on probably a bit too late. But as you said, there were no clear cuts, really. You know what? I actually was worrying, really. I mean, kind of. I kind of laid out why I, I don't mind clear cut chances. But I, I think Nunes has been kind of dampened in a couple of games now in a row. Was it, was it the Fulham game? There was, there was a game recently where they were basically just all over him. Mm. And it was just like... Right, well, as long as you can get in his head and then he gets that yellow as like that. That was silly. It was silly because you could see he was trying to make a point, but that proves that Johnny Evans is getting in his head. Yeah, I think a couple of people are misinterpreting a few of the positions we've got. Sobersai is probably one of them. For me at the moment, I, I don't know about what everyone else feels. When he first came in, there was a real technical ability that I think misled people in thinking, oh, his role is going to be, you know, just some sort of Real Madrid player coming in and just being like, I'm just going to run the midfield. I don't think that's how Klopp wants him to play. You can see he's really good at winning the ball back. You can see he's really good at um, combining with other players. But we're expecting a lot of end product. And the thing I think we just don't want to see in his game right now is lots of speculative long shots. That he came in, we knew he played that kind of game. And I feel like Klopp has taken other parts of his game out and managed to craft him a little bit. And now what we're seeing is we, we need to craft the other aspects. Yeah. Because there were just so many speculative long shots. And that wasn't just him. But I, we didn't test an honour enough because his hands, like, he can't keep hold of the ball. The amount of times today where you thought, well, you know, maybe if Nunez was in this position, it just didn't happen for us. And there was a time when Nunez stopped. That penalty shout frustrated me a lot. He just stopped. Because that play. would have been a goal. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, play went on. No one whistled. No nothing. I think it was always going to be narrow today. And I know, so I know you've got to give here. it. But sometimes if you're coming up with takes on the go, which you have to, you know, you just bam, bam, bam. You can have one. You can have one. You can have one. <laughs> it, it, sometimes it just doesn't go right. 
And, and by the way, in this title race, a draw is as bad as a loss. A hundred percent. I'll give United a small bit of credit for the way that they blocked 13 shots, I think it was in the end. Um, going forward, it was a really intercept, uh, a really crucial interception from Trent, which probably saved us. Um, but apart from that, I'm, I'm, I'm picking at stuff, little bits and bobs that we should have maybe done better with. But listen, United, after how many defeats in a row, a big defeat at home to Bournemouth, this is big for them. And you saw, I think <laughs> this has been like a win for them today. And, and yeah, I'm just gutted. I'm more for myself because people are cooking me online right yeah. now. And I probably do deserve some of it. But just disappointment is the word to finish it off, Loss. I mean, it's, it's shit. That's right. Have a little hug. Come on, yeah. Bring it in. No, it's all right. Smell, smell great as well, to be I'm fair. Trying, so I'm trying, I'm trying. That's good. Bro, listen, disappointing. Definitely feels like a loss instead of a point gained. I know we've got Arsenal next week. Quick prediction on that one. Uh, I think we might be looking at a similar performance, actually. Uh, I think we're probably looking at a draw in that one, but actually I don't mind draws against the other big yeah, sides. I, it's just the, well. just the little teams who won't be in the title race that I'm disappointed with a, a draw. Like Manchester United. Loz? I didn't say that. No, you didn't have Thank to. Thank you, bro. Appreciate top man. you. Um, go and follow him. He's a top guy. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.